Hello again, I'm Blunty. I went and saw Avatar last night, so let's talk about what I thought about Avatar. I sat down in the cinema, I put on the 3D goggles, and I went, Okay, James, Jimmy, Jimmy James, Jimmy John, J, J, Cameron, show me what you got. Impress me. And from the opening scene, I was just like, Whoa. This is, without question, one of the most impressive looking movies ever. It is one of the most beautifully shot movies ever. Ever shone through a projection screen onto a. It's shone through a projection screen, shone onto a projector screen. It looks beautiful, and this is a bad thing. It's a good thing because it, it's, it's, it's a mastery of just the craft of making things look beautiful on the screen. But it's a bad thing because a lot of people out there are going to get swept up in this. Going, it looks so, and it's going to be so overwhelming. For some people, and I've seen this already, I've known some people who just went, who came out of it and just went, BEST MOVIE EVER! And they just got swept up in how good it looks. And I will say this, the cast in it were amazing! I have, I can't remember the last time I sat down and I watched a movie and was impressed with every single person on the screen. Usually there's someone you go, why they, who cast that dickhead? I mean, what are they doing there? But this movie, every character, every person on the screen is just, wonderful and powerful and just I would not be surprised if this movie won a whole sweep of awards for performances for visual effects for sound design for the score and everything it's just it was a beautifully constructed piece of cinema and this is a bad thing because like I said before people are going to swept up in all this pizzazz and shininess and and when you boil it down when you just take it as a piece of storytelling that's where it falls down, and a lot of people are just glossing over this, I've seen, because it looks so impressive, and it sounds so impressive, and it's wonderful and beautiful, and CG, and the Uncanny Valley has disappeared. You believe in these big blue creatures wandering around. You feel for them. You, you don't see them as a CG monster alien thing anymore. They are people to be passionate about. You don't think about them being computer generated. You're not distracted by that. You just believe in them. But the story is weak, thin, cliché been there, done that. I mean, this is, if you took Fern Gully and Pocahontas and threw them together in a big mixing bowl and vomited it up on an alien planet somewhere, you'd pretty much get this movie. This is not a movie to go to if you want to be challenged, if you want to sit down and think, if you want to be exposed to a new way of thinking about certain issues, because everything about this movie has been done before in much the same way. The characters you've seen before, not done as well as these ones have, albeit but you've seen it before in other movies. The themes they tackle, you've seen it before in other movies, and you've seen it handled exactly the same way in other movies. This is, without any question, a Hollywood story, okay? It follows a very, very predictable pattern of ups and downs and twists that you see telegraphed from a mile away, and, and the obvious foreshadowing of certain things. It's just so heavy-handed with everything it does. It just treats you like an idiot, basically. It, James Cameron has said, down, I'm going to make one of the most beautiful films ever shot, but I'm going to treat the audience like they're a bit thick, and I'm going to spell everything out for them really slowly, and I've lost my background. God damn it, what's going on? Okay, slight technical malfunction remedied. Let's get on with the review. This movie looks beautiful, but this is not a beautiful movie, if you get my meaning. It has no heart, no soul. It's like just the... One of those gorgeous girls who he just who trade on you being distracted by how gorgeous they look and hoping and praying you don't notice they're a vacuous, selfish, self-absorbed little idiot prick before it's too late. You know, they're too, look at me, I'm beautiful, please don't notice that I just am a soulless beast. Kind of like what Avatar is. Laboured metaphor, I may have some issues here. Does it move you? Yes, it does, because the performances are so amazing. It, it, you know, you will get attached to these characters, you will ride with them, you will get upset, you know, when someone's in trouble or about to die and, you know, shit starts hitting the fan and all that sort of stuff. You will get swept up with that, but then 